Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick and Easy Holiday Cards. Today I'll be showing you three different holiday cards you can make with the Parumpa Pum Pum set from Lawn Fawn. And I've had fun with this, kind of creating clean and simple looks that you can do with cards. So that's the other focus for this week, is the stamp set and kind of a clean and simple type deal. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the pattern paper that we've been using all along, the Nordic Holiday Pattern Paper Pack. And I've started out by choosing two little patterns for this cute little bear right here. And I'm going to paper piece him. Um, so I'm going to stamp him three times. One on this blue pattern, one on the stitched pattern, and then once on the card. And that'll just give me a good guide for where to put him once I cut him out. So that's going to be the body. And then this will be the little belly. So I'm just going to look to see where, where I want his little belly and what I want inside of it. So I think right here is kind of cute. And then just, I'm actually going to open up the card so it doesn't move around at all when I'm stamping. And then center it the best I can and press down. Perfect. And that'll be a great guide for putting my um, card together. And I'm also just going to go ahead and stamp this sentiment, have a very berry Christmas, which is really cute and punny. Perfect. So, next what I'm going to do is start cutting out my pieces. And I'm just going to cut out the little belly here and then the little bear from the blue cardstock. And something like this would be a really great project for um, a whole set of cards because you could stamp all of these and then cut them out when you're at maybe a, an event like a movie or you're watching TV or things like that. So even though it seems kind of labor intensive, if you're like me and don't mind doing a little bit of cutting, um, this would actually probably be a very fairly easy card to mass produce. So I'm just going to go around the outside of this and I'll be back in a second with my pieces. Alright, so I am back after cutting out my little pieces here and I actually went around the edges with my memento marker as well. As you can see on the back side, um, this is why I love this marker because it gets the edges so nice and clean. I just go from the back side. So that's how you get the little marks on the back, but it looks fine from the front. And now I'm going to use my plus mini glue runner to adhere this all down. And I'll just go piece by piece. And there, this is a really nice image to use for paper piecing because it's not that complicated, but it still looks really nice when you put it together because it does take a little bit extra work and it really shows. So there we go. We have our cute little bear all done and dressed up for the holidays. And actually I'm going to cut out the, the nose piece as well because I think it needs that. Alright, so I've added on the little nose piece and I think that makes it look so much cuter. I love it. And now I think it needs a little bit of corner rounding. So I'm just going to round these two corners on the side here with my half inch corner chomper. And you know what? I think I'll leave it at this for this one. It's a clean and simple and happy card. So let's move on to the second card. For this one, I'm going to use the drum image and the Pahrumpa Pum Pum sentiment. And I'm going to do some Copic coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp everything first. And I'm going to do this in the horizontal format because I think it will um, look better to have several of the drums going across the um, card horizontally. So I'm going to actually stamp my sentiment first. This way I can make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. And I'm going to stamp it off to the side here. And now I can go ahead and stamp my little drums. And I'm actually going to make an effort to make them not exactly straight. And this will make it easier to not have to measure them out or anything like that. If you are really into um, making sure they're straight and lined up, you could use a stamp a jig 
and really work on getting them perfectly lined up. But I think this looks really cute, just like this. So I have my four little drums stamped across. And now I can go ahead and start coloring. I have three different colors that I've actually picked out to match my pattern papers perfectly. I have R89 Dark Red, um, R29 Lipstick Red, and YG17 Grass Green. So what I'm going to do is color in the um, main part of the body with this green color. And I don't think I'm going to do any crazy shading on this. I think I'm going to leave it rather plain. And this will just make it easier and I think um, it'll just keep it nice and simple. And that's what this lesson is all about. Keeping it nice and simple and really letting those really cute images shine. And then I'm going to color the lighter red up here for the top of the drum. And then I'm going to use the dark red to get in this line up here and then around the line of the drum, the decorative part. And I'm also going to use this E33 sand color to color in the drumsticks and this will just give it a really simple wood look without being uh, too distracting from the other colors. So I'm just going to co continue coloring these in and I'm going to color this, them the same way all the way across. So I'll be back in just a second. So I went in and colored all of the little drums and I'm just going around the corners of this card too. If you wanted to, you could definitely add some glossy accents on top of the drums or maybe some stickles or something like that. But you know what? I really like the simple uh, quality of this card and think that it really makes it um, happy and it, re it just really makes me happy. So um, you could also add, you know, maybe a strip of pattern paper on the top or the bottom. But like I said, this week's about clean and simple, so this is how I'm going to leave it. So let's get started on the third card. And for this, we're going to be doing a little bit of embossing. And I'm using this little present from the Pa Pum Pum set, this one right here, and the Be Merry sentiment. So I'm actually going to start out, first I measured the present and it's about an inch and a quarter by an inch, and this sentiment will fit pretty much right over the present. So what I want to do is have the present be, or have the sentiment be here, and then the present stamped eight times around it. So what I'm going to do is stamp out this in some Versamark and I measured out this piece of paper and then just added a little bit of allowance for the space in between the presents and actually I'm going to start out with the center present first because this will give me a good idea of where the other items need to go. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment right next to my present. And then I will continue stamping the presents around the card. So now I can add my white embossing powder on top of my stamping and the presents aren't going to be perfect because I didn't measure it out or anything but you know what I think that's that adds a nice little level of charm and as long as you're you get it pretty close and make it look intentional it's fine so we have our presents here and just to make sure I don't have any extra embossing powder. I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and clean up this a little bit before I emboss it. And now I'm ready to emboss it with my heat gun and just heat everything until the graininess of the embossing powder is gone. And while it's cooling down, make sure you kind of move it around and bend it the way it needs to be. Otherwise it might warp into 
kind of a bent uh, shape. And then, this is super cute. I'm loving how this turned out. And um, I think it's so adorable. Um, so I think what I'm going to do next, I just need to figure out how I want to put it on my card. I'm just going to ink the edges with the Fire Brick Distressed Ink just to make sure that the white from the um, pattern paper isn't showing. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And then I'm going to use a Signo Uniball pen, and this one's actually in gold. And I'm just going to draw some stitching lines across the top and the bottom. And I was going to use white, but I think this gold will add a nice little touch of elegance. And then I think I'll run the corners on this one as well. So here we have our three finished cards for today. Um, nice, clean and simple looks, all with this same stamp set from Juan Fon. And I just love this stamp set. It's very versatile for the holidays, but it also has a lot of year-round applications. So definitely, if this isn't on your wish list yes, yet, you should probably add it because it's really awesome. Um, and so here's a look at the finished cards. And I hope you've enjoyed this look at clean and simple holiday cards, and maybe you'll decide to take the simple route for this year. Um, as always, remember that you can purchase the ebook, Quick and Easy Holiday Cards, on my blog at brittaswiderski.com slash shop for an extra bonus card video for each lesson, as well as full instructions, supply lists, and everything like that, all in an easy-to-download and read PDF form. So visit my website for more information, and thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you soon for another lesson of quick and easy holiday cards.